Here's how to complete Rick Toffin's grand scheme in the Black Ops 1 and 3 Zombies map move. First, turn on the power. Next, place Samantha Says in the computers next to the receiving bay. Once Samantha Says is complete, make your way to the laboratories and acquire the hacker. The hacker can be found on either of the three floors in the labs. On the second floor of the labs, hack one of the four lit up panels. Once the wall is hacked, four green lights will spawn through the lab, and you have 60 seconds to hack them. If done in time, you will be able to switch all four buttons on the second floor on. Next, you need to wait until Excavator Pi digs Tunnel 6. Once the excavator has breached the tunnel, take the hacker back to the receiving bay and lift up Excavator Pi by hacking it. Inside of Tunnel 6, you will find the real sphere. Knife the sphere and follow the ball until it gets stuck on the top of the receiving bay. Shoot the ball with the wave gun and continue to knife it until it goes into the pyramid. A cylinder will appear and you will need to collect 25 zombie souls next to the tube. Once it's full, pull the switch on the wall and the pyramid will open, revealing Samantha. Next, return to Area 51 and knock the plates off the shelf with explosive. Throw a Gersh device at the plates and teleport them back to moon. Throw a QED at the plates, go back to the labs and locate the wire. It's most likely in the labs but can be also found on the door outside by the moon or on the steps leading into the lab. Place the wire between the plates and the computer and the Vril device in between the plates. Interact with the computer until the Vril device is charged and take it back to the pyramids. Four soul canisters will spawn and another 25 zombie kills next to each of them. Once completed, interact with the front of the pyramid. Throw a QED at the sphere. Play three more games of Samantha says. Throw a Gersh device at the sphere and the launch sequence will commence.